anytime you're talking about a car crash, I mean, you're talking, you know, usually a minimum of a 2,000 pound vehicle that's traveling at various speeds. About 43,000 Americans are killed in car crashes each year leaving these detectives to investigate what happened during the critical moments leading to those deaths. Anytime we have a fatal crash, uh, that's a homicide investigation for us to try and determine what happened here and uh, provide answers for the family. The technical accident investigation team is called to the scene to reconstruct the crash. Now chances are you've probably seen this police tape obviously use it to block off a crime scene because investigators say even the smallest step made within that crime scene could taint their evidence. That's why it's critical for us to come out here immediately after the crash. So every vehicle that's out there that gets involved in the crash is going to bring some weight or speed into the crash. Skid marks on the crime scene are like fingerprints for the crash's weight and speed. When a car locks up and just slides to stop, we can determine the speed of the car. Because those skid marks tend to have about a 24-hour visible lifespan, they're measured, photographed, and weighed. What we'll do is just pull this and see how many pounds of pressure it takes to drag this on this surface. That pull. Lasers are used to map the area, preserving the crime scene forever. Back at the station, those laser coordinates are downloaded into a computer and a precise diagram of the crime scene is born. Officers head out once more to assess exact slide to stop measurements of a car before the crash by accelerating and braking, all while this device is taking measurements. We did as hard as we can. Uh, for maximum braking efficiency and then it tells us how well that car can stop. It's all recorded back onto that diagram that will later be submitted as evidence in court. This is a point of impact where it impacted this bush and then it came across impacted a second bush and then the third and final impact was with the house. It's a visual timeline created to tell a story for those who can't. But it definitely helps the family to know exactly what happened.